This is brought to you by FrostbiteSystems.com. In this episode today, we're going to install Ubuntu Studio 32-bit. Alright, you're going to put your CD in your CD drive. <clears throat> when the CD loads in, it's going to pop up the language menu here. Select your language. Hit Enter. Alright, then it's going to... Uh, ask you if you want to install Ubuntu Studio, check this for defects, test memory, boot from first hard disk, rescue a broken system. Uh, we want to install Ubuntu Studio today. So we select that, hit enter. First step, you got to select your uh, language. Uh, we're on English. Uh, so we want that today and all we have to do is hit enter. I can you you gotta choose your country and territory. Uh, we're in the U.S., so hit enter. Okay, it can detect uh, the keyboard layout. You don't really have to. I just select no. Origin of keyboard, uh, USA. So we'll click on enter. It's on uh, USA, so I'll click enter again. Okay, now we're at the configure the network screen. It takes a few minutes to uh, get to this uh, get to this point. Um, you need to be patient installing this because you're not, you're not going to install this in 10-15 minutes like the other distros, and it needs to. Uh, you know, read all, detect all your hardware and stuff like that. <clears throat> okay, it's going to ask you for a host name. I usually just leave that on default. Uh, you got to use your arrow keys. Um, just arrow down to continue. Hit enter. Alright, it's going to ask you for your time zone. And it's asking you if it's well, it's asking me if it's correct, and it is, so we hit enter. If you select no, it brings you to a screen where you can select your time zone. And, uh, select yes and hit enter, and you'll be all set. Alright, partitioning method. Uh, there's several ways of doing it. I always use the entire disk. Uh, you can do manual, uh, you can set up an LVM or an encrypted LVM. Uh, as you know, I always use the entire disk, so I'll leave it on that. Hit enter. Okay, it's on the. Uh, this to partition so we just hit enter anything highlighted in red is what is selected just so you know Alright, it's going to ask if you want to write the changes to the disk. Uh, everything looks good. So I got to arrow left to yes because uh, I want to write the changes to disk. And then we hit enter. Alright, and after the base system is installed, it uh, comes to the setup users and passwords. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, can use your name for the uh, for the new user. Uh, I'll just put in Frosty. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Then you need to arrow down to continue. Click on continue. Okay. Then it asks you for a username for the new account. Uh, and it puts in the previous name you used there. I'll just leave it on that. 
arrow down to continue hit enter alright choose a password for the new user so uh, put in your password arrow down hit enter it's gonna ask you to re-enter the password to verify so put that in you arrow down you hit enter again uh, it's telling me I'm using a weak password but it doesn't matter for this video uh, so I'm just gonna arrow back to yes and hit enter uh, it asks you if you want to encrypt your home directory uh, you can if you want to but we're not gonna do that today so I'm gonna uh, leave it on no hit enter Uh, if you need to use an HTTP proxy to access the uh, outside world, you can enter your information in here. Um, I'm not going to do that today because I don't need it. So I just arrow down to continue, hit enter. Alright, then after that, uh, you can come to the software selection screen. Uh, only the core systems installed on there now. Uh, depending upon what you're doing, uh, you can select 2D, 3D, creation and editing suite. Uh, audio creation and editing suite. LADSPA and DSSI audio plugins. Video creation and editing suite. Uh, if you're just doing video or whatever. Uh, you can select uh, just one thing for the videos or if you're just doing audio just pick all the audio stuff but we're gonna select everything because I'm gonna do a tour video afterwards and you'll you'll be amazed at how much stuff this thing installs everything you can imagine for audio and video it's gonna install alright it's on the uh, 2d 3d creation and editing suite now you have to hit the space bar to check it and it puts a little asterisk in there okay well audio uh, uh, arrow down to the audio creation hit the space bar lad spa hit the space bar go down to the next one hit the space bar alright now that's gonna install everything all we do is uh... Uh, then you have to hit tab to get to continue and then you hit enter and it is now installing the uh, software on your system alright and uh, after a little while it's going to ask you uh, about configuring jacked if you need real-time permissions uh, you need to enable them if you don't wish to have them you don't need them um, if I remember correctly, you need them to uh, cut down on latency. So uh, we'll just enable them now. Uh, you really don't have to. You can you can enable it uh, after the installation. But uh, so we'll leave it on yes. I'll hit enter. All right. When that's done, you're gonna get the configuring the grub. Uh, just leave it on yes, hit enter. Okay, and it's going to ask you if the clock is set to UTC time. For me it is, so just click yes. Hit enter. Alright, the installation is now complete. eject the CD and all we have to do is hit enter alright now when you restart the computer it's gonna bring you into the uh, username and password screen um, you hit enter then you enter your password and then we hit enter again
And there you have it. Welcome to the Ubuntu Studio uh, desktop. Um, I am going to do a tour on this, so check that out in another video. Um, as I said before, take your time, be patient, read everything carefully during uh, installation. If you wish to purchase a computer with Ubuntu Studio on it, just check out frostbitesystems.com uh, and contact us. We'll be more than happy to install this on a computer for you. Um, check out our new website too. It's filled with all kinds of uh, Linux and open source podcasts. That's at frostbitemedia.org. And we also have a blog at frostbitesystems.org. And thanks for watching.